Today we will be showing you how to install Boost Auto Parts GM 2015 Plus style tow mirrors onto your low trim 2007.5 to 2014 GM truck. This specific procedure is for low trim trucks. If your door panel does not match the one shown in this video, please reference a separate Boost Auto Parts video. For exact fitment, please visit our website at boostautoparts.com. Using a trim tool, remove the triangle trim cover over the mirror mounting area. With a pick, pry out on the square center trim clip on the door lock lever, then pull up to remove it. Using a trim tool, pry up on the bottom of the door grab support trim cover to remove it. Unscrew the two 10 millimeter bolts and remove the support. With a trim tool, pry up on the window and mirror switch to pop it out. Unplug the connectors from the back of the window and mirror switch. For the last black connector, use a pick to pry out on the lock, then pull up on the connector to remove it. With a trim tool, undo the trim clip below the window and mirror switch for the mirror connector. Unplug the mirror connector. Using a pick, remove the trim panel in the door grab area. Unscrew the two 10 millimeter bolts in the door grab. Opening the door handle, use a pick to remove the trim panel behind it. Unscrew the 10 millimeter bolt from behind the door handle. With a trim tool, pop the trim clips around the door panel, releasing the door panel from the door. Using pliers or a pick, release the two clips holding the door handle cable in place. Pull back on the plastic portion, then rotate the cable forward to release it. Peel away the splash shield. Unscrew the three 10 millimeter bolts holding the metal door support in place, then remove it. With a trim tool, undo the three mirror harness clips. Remove the mirror foam. While supporting the mirror, unscrew the three 10 millimeter nuts holding the mirror in place. Remove the mirror from the door. There is a trim clip that may be holding it in place. If the mirror gasket is still stuck to the door, remove it as your new Boost Auto Parts tow mirrors comes with a replacement gasket. Taking your new tow mirrors from Boost Auto Parts, install them onto the vehicle. Pull the connectors and harness all the way through, being careful not to pinch or catch them. While supporting the mirror, screw in the three 10 millimeter nuts that hold the mirror to the vehicle. Put the foam insert back in place. Plug the mirror connector in. Plug in the reverse light extension harness with the gray and white wire. If you selected a running light option, your mirrors will also come with an orange wire with a black connector. Plug in the black connector. Locate the door jam door harness boot. Using a flat blade screwdriver, pop the tabs on the upper and lower portion of the door harness door boot, releasing it from the door. With a flat blade screwdriver, do the same on the cab side door boot, releasing it from the cab. Run the lighting extension harness through the opening in the door to the door jam boot area. Make sure to pull the harness all the way through. With a sturdy piece of metal, in this case a straightened out coat hanger, run it through the door jam boot from the door side to the cab side. Tape the lighting extension harness wires to the sturdy piece of metal on the door side of the door jam boot. Pull the piece of metal fully through the door jam boot, bringing the lighting harness with it. 
taking the lighting extension harness, run it into the cab of the vehicle through the opening to the left of the parking brake assembly. Pull the harness fully into the cab. Repeat these steps on the passenger side. The procedure is the same. The passenger side, locate this opening in the center console behind the ductwork. Taping the lighting extension harness from the passenger side to a sturdy piece of metal, run it through the center console through the opening from the passenger side to the driver's side. Tuck this wiring behind this carpeting so that it does not interfere with the accelerator or brake pedal. Locate and unscrew this 10 millimeter ground nut to the left of the accelerator pedal. Taking both the passenger and driver side gray ground wire, cut them to the length of the ground nut, leaving a little slack. Strip both the passenger and driver side gray wires. Twist the stripped ends of the wires together. Taking the eyelet provided by Boost Auto Parts, crimp it to the twisted together gray wires. Place the eyelet onto the stud for the ground and screw the nut back into place. We will now be showing how to run the orange and white wires to the underhood fuse box. In this case, we will be splicing the passenger side wire to the driver side and running one wire for each to the underhood fuse box. Here we are splicing the driver side and passenger side extension harness wires together and using the excess length that is cut to be ran to the underhood fuse box. Here we are splicing the driver side and passenger side white reverse light wires. We are using a butt connector, however you may use your preferred method of splicing. Once spliced together, we use the cut length of wire on the other side of the splice long enough to reach the underhood fuse box. Here we are splicing the driver side and passenger side orange running light wires together. We are using a butt connector, however you may use your preferred method of splicing. Once spliced together, we use the cut length of wire on the other side of the splice long enough to reach the underhood fuse box. Heat shrink the butt connectors down if applicable. Using a sturdy piece of metal, in this case a straightened out coat hanger, poke it through this boot in the firewall to the underhood area. The boot is located below the driver's side hood hinge. Tape the wires from the lighting extension harness to the sturdy piece of metal. Pull the sturdy piece of metal and harness through into the underhood area. Open the underhood fuse box. Cut the wires to length of the fuse box. Strip the wires. Crimp a fuse tap to the orange wire if running light was optioned. Crimp a fuse tap to the white reverse wire. Locate and remove the trailer backup fuse. Place the removed fuse in the bottom slot of the fuse tap for the white reverse light wire. Install the fuse tap into the removed fuse slot location. Locate and remove the LT Park fuse. Place the removed fuse into the bottom slot on the fuse tap for the orange running light wire. Install the fuse tap into the removed fuse slot. Reinstall the lid for the fuse box. We will now be showing how to reinstall the door panels. Reinstall the door jam boots back into the cab and into the door. Reinstall the metal door panel support and screw in the three 10 millimeter bolts. Taking the door panel, reinstall the door handle cable back into the door handle. Lift the door panel back into place, making sure to pull the window and mirror switch connectors through. Snap the door panel trim clips back into place. Reinstall the mirror connector trim holder into the door panel. Screw in the 10 millimeter bolt behind the door handle. Push the trim panel back into place behind the door handle. Screw in the two 10 millimeter bolts into the door grab. 
reinstall the trim panel into the door grab. Plug the connectors into the back of the mirror and window switch and reinstall it into the door panel. Reinstall the door handle support and screw in the two 10 millimeter bolts. Reinstall the door handle support trim cover. Place the door lock lever back into place and press in the center trim clip. Just like that, your installation of your Boost Auto Parts 2015 GM style tow mirrors for your 2007 and a half to 2014 GM truck is complete. To get all the parts shown in this video, please reference our website at boostautoparts.com. Boost Auto Parts offers a wide range of tow mirrors, parts, and accessories for trucks and SUVs. Check us out at boostautoparts.com. <laughs>